Welcome back to Falcon's House. Um, so today I'm really hyped. If you haven't watched my previous polls video, you probably should do it. I pulled Costume Mother North, who I've been I've been wanting a reviver hero since like basically since I started the game. I've pulled so many times in previous Christmas years. So I'm very excited now. I'm very hyped up. My I basically have everything I need at this point, and it's actually probably going to save me chasing one Faded. I am not spending the rest of my Epic Hero tokens in this event. They're all getting saved for Easter, Kravala, whatever, like, future events. So, I still have a bunch of challenge tokens to use. I'll still do some pulls this month, but it's not going to be at the same level. And I'm just going to take Tarlac with my next and last Faded Summon on this board. And I'll save the rest of my stuff for Fadeds until the reset happens, and then I get a new set of Faded Heroes. And then realistically, I'll probably want, like, a handful of them as well, and that'll be it. So, I, I expected that have to, I was going to have to do two Fadeds out of this to use all the tokens. There was only about a 1.8% chance of pulling, so it was definitely really exciting. I'll probably make another video on her and why I like her, but... For now, I'm going to do some challenge festival stuff. Um, and I'm going to play through this. I probably won't do all the levels on video, but maybe I will because some people liked when I did it that for the last thing. Oh, what was that? Um, Tavern of Legends. So I was like, okay, maybe I should just do it. So I think I probably will do it all in video. This will probably just be like a pretty long video. I probably won't break it down. But I do want to show one thing. When you're doing these, like, if you look at the high-end teams. Well, now they're using green. Sure, damage, sure, damage, sure, damage all enemies. I could do him. I have him. Attack up. I don't have three Norals, but I have one Norl. Who are they using? They're going all blues, which I can do all blues. They're all blue. They're doing a 3-2. I can not exactly match this. I do have two Trevals, but they're not leveled like that. I can do one max Trevil, one max Mave, and one max Norl. All blues. Yeah, most of these people are doing all blues, and I can match a lot of these all blue teams. All greens are being used more now. I mean, I guess that's good that there's more stuff. But effectively, mono strong is the way to beat this. But I actually like running three twos in here, so it's going to be a little... I, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run everything through with all blues. Finish the event. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to improve scores on individual levels with different lineups. And oh, I guess you can't do blues on the Reflect Blues one. So, but I basically want to do two rounds of this where I am doing one. Um, let's see if he change his costume first. Where I'm going to do one with all blues, and then I'm going to go back. And then when I do those, I'll probably record a lot. But I probably will only post ones that I'm actually improving on. Do I have another blue? So this first, the first few levels, you don't really need a healer, so I just won't bother. With that portion. So, I don't really have the troops leveled all the way. I only have 115 and 111. But it's not worth leveling all these to 15. Unless you have all your mana troops for your legendaries already done. It's not worth the, the resources otherwise. Like, I want one or two so I can run rainbows and whatever. But that's it. Hopefully this damage isn't too much, and I can survive. Otherwise, I have to run Frosty as the healer on the mono team. I 
I thought I was gonna kill him, but whatever. <sighs> Color change killed me. That's not terrible, but I bet I can do it in like 50 seconds in an ideal situation. No purples, can just keep going. Poison a return. I'm probably going to have to redo this level with uh, Frosty out there. Okay, that isn't too bad. Although I can't use blues, so I guess greens. I think I have to use him now. Just so can go bring in. Feels fine. I guess in that case I should have gone reds, but Okay, let's revive again. God, I hate <laughs> the revive piece is the hardest one on this. Didn't have to save. Okay, now we can do it. Bye bye. That one definitely can be improved. I can just go with a different team. They can kill him off really quick. And yellow back, so we can go back to my blue team. Probably getting to the point where I'm gonna need healers. And that's kind of a bad board. So 
this will be improved with a better board in the future. But just gotta play through them now. Like I always go back later, but I do I finish them all once on every difficulty before I go back and try to farm the best scores out. Actually helped me. See, that was a much better level. But everything is cascaded really well in the boss. But yeah, some of these are definitely going to have replay and improvements. Which I guess is good, because there is a thing for improving one score. But usually I save that to legendary, and I just, after I play my four, I make one legendary level bad on purpose that I can always improve for Path of Valor points. Come on, give me something useful. This board is really bad. This is definitely going to be another level that gets replayed. And, like, some of these levels, I think, are going to be better at 3-2 anyway. Good, not doing enough damage. Yeah, this level is gonna get redone for sure. Like the more, the harder they get, the harder the the mono team really goes because you're still not doing very much damage and you're very tile dependent. And that's probably one of the things that would be better if I had better troops to match.
So, yeah, I hate these green levels, honestly. I don't know if running monos on them is going to be the way to get to the scores for me personally. So, so yeah, I think like four of these levels I feel like definitely need to be replayed. Some of them will probably be replayed depending on outcomes of other stuff and see how close they get to things. Because ideally I'm going to be top 10,000 in all these, but with it being a right at the same time there's a Christmas event, I kind of feel like the player count's going to be higher. And it's going to be a little bit harder to get really high in the rankings. I've never actually finished top 10,000 before. I think my best is like 13,000. So. Which is fine. It just proves that there's still room even for like people with been playing for a long time with good heroes to have improvement time. Yeah, like, I feel like these two both can be improved because they're lower than 22. Like, the goal is to have improvement in every single level from where you start. Otherwise, you're not doing, like, you're, otherwise there's definitely room to improve. Which I can do until the color changes, I think. Okay, now we're in greens. I should have kept that. At least I can fire off a full round here. So much health later on. I really wish I had a tornado, but I don't because you can't use them in this lot set. Yeah, you have to wait till epic, I think, maybe even legendary to be able to use them. And I've been spending all of my iron basically on making tornadoes because they're so useful. I used to never use items like. For a long time, I just, like, didn't bother these items because I didn't want to spend the time to build more. But I think it's, like, fine now. To where it's valuable. It's turned out started well, and then it kind of faded, so I don't know if I'll you that level or not.
whatever. I need to get some blues out here so that I can actually deal some damage. Might actually need to heal him. Let's see. Where am I die? Nope, didn't die. I do need to heal him. Okay. Everybody healed up. Why is it so short? So do I. You need to get some blues out. Finish eight. That's not terrible for this far in. From a time perspective, I can do better probably. Yeah, like I'm still at 136,000. That seems really bad for me, considering I know I can get into like top 15,000, but we'll see how much more points. I'll probably jump down to like 40,000 or something after these last few levels here. Was I supposed to not use blues here? I don't think so. I think I've already had my blue levels done. I don't want to use that, but whatever. Yeah, I couldn't. I'm not supposed to use blues. That'll be fun. I have no off color. That's my only way through. Better we cut here. There we go. I was going to say, I don't know how to do this otherwise. I'm done. There's no way I can beat this. I'm just going to leave. And do this again with a green team. And now I won't actually lose. <laughs> the fact that I was seeing that other green guy, dual gone or whatever, in some of these top scores means I need to level him quick. Well, quick is going to be a weird word because um, I have like more than 10 legendaries to do. No, I only have eight Damascus played, so it's actually going to be my limiting factor. But even running three TC2s, it's going to take me probably another two months, so my TC2s are just going to keep getting extended out, running all three full-time. Okay, this should be good, actually. Go. That was really good. That's probably gonna be a really high score. Yes. I'm still one one ten. Kind of crazy. I definitely feel like I should be higher up. That means a lot of people are playing this event, which I guess is good that we because we've been on such a decline lately. And we'll 
I'll change colors to red. Isn't great, but it's not terrible either for this far into the event. Yeah, this, some of these are why you don't, uh, why I don't like running monos. You just get totally stuck if you don't have the tiles. But it is the way to get the top scores in this. So I usually like to do it at least once to see where I'm at. Maybe twice, depending on. How much resources I decided to dump into the event. Let's go away. There. Challenge coins, those are all good things. Those don't matter for the what I got. Okay, that is the end of this video. I'll probably start one for Epic next. Thanks for watching.